Uh, mandatory 50? Yeah. All right. Oh, it's oh, 10, sorry. 25, 10, 25, 50. Okay. okay. All right. Oh, yeah, there you go. The graphics just updated there, too. Yeah, blinds have gone up, so uh, we're now on the second level of the tournament. <laughs> 10, 25, and 50 now. I mean, there's not a lot of heads up that happen. Perry here, waking up with the ace jack off suit. He's going to go ahead and raise this up from under the gun. Matt just goes ahead and ducks out with 10 9 of spades. Landon says 7 6 of diamonds is good enough for me to come in for a 3 bet. Mr. Delivery, one pip off from the nuts. And back over to Perry. Does he want to play this one in position? Against Landon for 500 more. He's got his fingers on a pink chip, but he does not have the look of a man that is very confident about continuing in this hand. Ooh. And now we've got some uh, some Pokemon flying around. Perry does settle on a call, and we will see a flop. Heads up between these two players. Yeah, he peels with a grin on his face. What do you? <laughs> this, this should be interesting. Hey yo! Nice when you just flop top top with a backdoor royal flush draw. Yeah, 60% of a royal for all you video poker players out there. Landon here. Out of position first. Oh, to like a big old bet. Can you go with him? 400, yeah. Small bet here. Okay. All right, goes for the one-third. I could see a whole host of options for Mr. Perry here. Except folding. Yeah, I think with the ace of clubs, I'm more prone to just call. Yeah. As your opponents, like, flush draws, whatever, that you are just, like, happy to let continue. Yeah, especially uh, in the three-bet pot. Yeah, so it does opt for the call. Eight of spades here now. Does add a smidge of additional equity here for Landon. Has a gutter to the nine. Of course, that would be sort of the dummy end of the straight if his opponent held a queen. That would make him an inferior straight, but certainly gives him reason enough to continue betting. Round two, here we go. Cutting out some chips. Looks like 14, like maybe two thirds. One point three. Thirteen hundred dollar. Perry here, I think another just easy call in position. Still not much value to be gained from a raise. Yeah, I'm still gonna ask ask Landon what what he's got back. Landon counts it out. And maybe these are spots that I don't really sort of contemplate the the jam for value very frequently, and I'm usually just more prone to go for the call and position. Special Your opponent's gonna have a stack to pot ratio of one on the river, or, or thereabouts, and if they decide to go all in, I'm just calling it's on most rivers. But Perry's uh, out of position here, isn't he? No, he's, oh, in, he's in plus position. one, against small blind. Apologies, yeah, okay. Yeah. Seems like a clear call then. Yeah, I think so too. Maybe weighing the options with the board being two-tone, but I mean, you could be running into a whole world of hurt playing that guessing game. Does just opt for the call. Uh, too good to fold, yeah. Yeah, for, oh, for sure. Premium area, yeah. Landon now with a decision here on the river once we get this card scanned in. Once again, stack to pot ratio going to be just about one. Landon would have a pot size jam if he wanted to go for it. Needs a six, seven, or a nine to improve his hand. Suspense is killing me. And he is all in. We don't know what the river is, but Landon has gone for it. It's a 10. Oh, this is interesting. This that's is an a, interesting river. That's a terrible card to go all in for, but Landon is going to do it anyways. Yeah, I... Wow. And when I say a terrible card, like, uh, certainly not, you know, saying anything about the play here. I mean, this, this is still putting Perry into a world of hurt with all of his jacks. <laughs> Uh, putting well, putting him into a tough decision, anyways. But the, when the second card pairs the board, that's generally just never good for the player that's been betting all three streets, all the way right? Like, yeah, it kind of, kind of polarizes, right? Oh, it super polarizes. It's, now you have like a full house or nothing. A full house right? or nothing. Yeah. Ace ten just wouldn't barrel. Maybe like what? Ace ten of spades. I guess you could say is like a combo that barrels. 
I don't, the three best barrels, but even so. I don't think it goes for that size. Well, maybe. 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 But yeah, it's like we said, it's you know slim pickings here. So this is uh, Perry's gonna go deep into the tank here. And with the way he's been running, I'm sure he just has a lot running through his head. Yeah, I think I think he. Yeah, yeah he flicks yeah. it in. That's that's gonna do it. Was that yeah. a first a first five figure pot? Absolutely right. Let's go. Thirteen and a half grand for Mr. Perry. Yeah, very well played. Good there. look up. Landon just 